Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use land calm but my products way fucking better shoot stack hey, cheddar hey, uh. i know you're waiting for another episode uh, another episode i know you've been waiting for another episode i know you've been waiting yeah let it fucking go Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove
Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Live. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a poly man based out of Georgia. And you're watching a segment of Lord of Perfected Work. So I'm not even going to waste time today. It's already 12.09. I let this shit go longer than I wanted it to. So uh, let's get it. Oops. So what's good, y'all? Y'all know what you what this is what you're watching. Uh, this is Shoe Live, where I, Lord Shoe X, make music live on the spot. So I'm gonna make this beat, and then I'm gonna write a verse, and then we out this bitch. Let's see, do I like this tempo? Just a little quickie, a little quickie for the people. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna start it off with this beat first. See if, see what's good, really good. So y'all, I just found out that, uh, oh, uh, trigger alert, sad news alert, but I just found out that Joey Jordison, the drummer of Slipknot, which is like one of my favorite heavy metal bands, died like recently, either recently or two years ago or two days, ago. I think two days ago. I just found out he was dead. And I'm just like, bro, this dude was like, had to be like only 40, because I know he was at least in his early 20s when I was in high school, the beginning of high school. So I'm like, what the fuck? Shit kind of fucked me up because the reason I even got into wanting to be in band in high school, which I never got to be in band because of my counselor. I got in band because I wanted to learn how to play drums like Joey Jordison. Granted, that shit never came to light, but I did. I did end up learning how to play drums, but. Thump, baby. Need that thump. 
Yeah, it's been it's been a weird ass week. This week has tested my fucking emotions to new levels, yo. And you know, when you're when you're a man in society, they expect you to be a certain type of way. It's tough, man. Can't talk to nobody about shit. You just stuck having to deal with your feelings on your own. So I'm gonna just write. I'm gonna make this beat and I'm gonna write because that that always helps. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping one day that shit like that gets taken serious, though. I don't be one to be rude, but sometimes people be fucking tagging me and post dog like a hundred times. Y'all, I appreciate y'all sharing your music with me. I do go and listen to it, but please, man, don't motherfucking tag me a hundred times in this shit. When I drop a new record, y'all see me tag y'all in this shit. I, I, the least I do is fucking put it in my story, man. I was listening to Jay Dilla yesterday, just reminiscing on times when music actually like was a thing. I ain't hating on these new producers though. I've been making beats since fucking 1996, and I remember when you used to have to do the cassette tape shit, where you like you make the beat and put it on the cassette tape, and then you would take you would have two tape decks. And you'll have the beat playing. And then if you have like a sample, you'll record just a sample. And then you'll play them two shits at the same time with an aux into another shit. And then you'll play like that's how you. That's how I used to make beats. Like we'll play the keys and shit, and just do that shit, and then layer it into each part of the shit. 
boy. Those days are over with. When when you really had to be a motherfucking wizard with this shit. Now I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? I be getting sad when I think about that shit. <laughs> Oh baby, nothing like making a good beat. This shit probably finna sound kind of crazy though.
Alright, so I just finished this beat pretty much as far as I'm gonna take it because I really fuck with this beat, but I know if I keep fucking with it, I'm gonna keep doing this shit forever. So now I'm gonna fucking write a quick little verse to this shit. And then we gonna talk about some little shit afterwards. And that's gonna be Shoe Pro. I mean, Shoe Live today. But Shoe Pro LP is coming out soon, y'all. In case you ain't know. But I'm trying to think of that first line though I'll be right back. Had to take care of some family shit real quick. shit ain't even that hard like I got this shit <laughs>
gonna lie, y'all. I wrote a motherfucking poem to this shit. <laughs> it's fucking. It's, it's. You got me in my feels. Nah, not really. But I had to get in my feels to write this shit, though. Alright y'all, I, I finished. All I'm doing is just this one verse. But I sh this this song, I should finish it and make it an actual song. So, let's get it. I'm gonna start this shit from the beginning. So y'all can feel it. Hopefully I don't fuck this shit up. Alright, so I called the poem, Is Death Real? But it's, it's still like a verse anyways. And then after this bitch, it's a rap. Watching shoe live, you're watching shoe live. Hey, you're watching shoe live. Peace to everybody who caught this live, though. Hey, as the world turns, breathing slowly. Uh, I don't know my breaking point, and I don't need a joint. All that is left is me. When you look for love, I am more like your son. 
No need to gamble or toss a coin I'm the living word that is between your lips Say that you will On second thought, maybe you can tell me how you feel They try and tell me that love can kill I'm a soldier for it Carry my short and seal Set up and plug in my cords If living on borrowed time is love a crime It came this close Same love notes passing back and forth Until our pens run out of ink Breaking down at my pink Insanity at the brink Is this even real or is death more? Feel your kiss to my core with my eyes closed Dreaming of my personal no whore. You can hate, but you say the same When it's all done, I'll never be slain Cause this love is the realest Hey, I don't know my breaking point And I don't need a joint All that is left is me When you look for love Hey, is death real? Or is this love more real? Hey, I don't know my breaking point And I don't need a joint All that is left is me When you look for love Shit make you wanna fucking go pick somebody up that you care about. Damn y'all. I'm gonna let this shit ride in the background. <laughs> hey. Turn this shit off. So appreciate everybody watching me make this beat and write this verse. Um I gotta, make sure I'm, I gotta make sure I look right, yo. Damn. Appreciate all the love on the channel, too. I'll actually be back later on today. I'll be back later on today, though. At 6 p.m. So. I don't even know what's gonna play. I'm gonna just I'm gonna put this on, like, 40 songs. But, yeah. So, you know. I've been making music for a long ass time so doing shit like that kind of just is like second nature and honestly i could have went way deeper on that beat i probably would have chopped it up all kind of shit but y'all know i just want y'all to watch this so that uh damn how i remove this comment i just wanted y'all to you know watch this and see me live at work because i know a lot of people be like damn is this nigga still making music yes y'all i still make fucking music every fucking day i write a song every day and then now i'm writing two to three songs maybe even four songs sometimes because i'm i'm writing these shoe live verses which will eventually become real songs see as i do these lives i'm literally making an album live but these songs are this these are ideas they will become even more intricate so you know it ain't shit it ain't shit to me to fucking write a song about how I feel at the current moment. I might even talk about current shit that's going on in the world. As today, I was feeling real lovey-dovey. That's why I fuck with that guitar, man. Shit make you want to go fucking grab your lover type shit. <laughs> make you want to go grab up your lover and, and squeeze her tightly. Squeeze him tightly and be like, baby, what they do, baby? That's how you talk to your lover, man. <laughs> Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I mean, if they're your lover, you can say whatever you want to them. What they do, baby? You know, uh, y'all know I love doing this shit. So, it's just fucking matter of time before the next project comes out. Like I said at the fucking beginning of the stream, Shoe Pro is like almost fucking finished, so... I'm excited to fucking put this shit out and let people hear what it sounds like when I actually put time and effort into a full length project. And it took me like a long time to make this record. So, you know, this ain't some shit I just like, this This is not shoe live status shit where I just record, like made some shit up and recorded and just did it on the spot. Like the demo I did that. <laughs> I went back and rewrote all the motherfucking songs, so y'all got to see it live in effect, live in full effect, you know what I'm saying? I'm just glad that uh, y'all got to see me in my element and taking the way, the fucking energy that I was giving today and building on it, because I don't want to be just on here just talking about smacking niggas 
in the face and taking niggas bitches and you you know what people rap about all the time like i could have really got on here freestyling which maybe one day i actually do like an episode where i just freestyle but i had a lot of distractions today and not it didn't you know i could have got pissed off and just been like man fuck this shit but i just let shit be what it was you know what i'm saying it wasn't nothing that i could even control at this point so it is what it is but again thanks to everybody who watched the stream if you haven't been to my website it's over in the corner next to that symbolic symbol <laughs> symbolic symbol <laughs> next to the symbol shoelovesrebels.com y'all should check out the website all my episodes of shoe live will be on my facebook my lord shoe facebook i have a shoe loves rebels facebook and a lord shoe facebook they'll be on both so if you missed the shoe lives or if you missed any of the uh if you missed any of the most recent uh videos that i've done on twitch and just my entire youtube channel journey y'all can check them videos out on lord shoe facebook okay so just get on facebook and type in lord shoe and it will come up you'll see a picture of me drinking juice it was from whole foods and it was organic and it was delicious if you're watching this from the outside please 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 i would greatly appreciate it if you made a twitch account and subscribe to this channel and if you have Amazon Prime, you can actually subscribe to my channel for a month for free. And I think it's the tier one subscription. So please subscribe to the channel, y'all. Please. I want to hear y'all ideas for the next uh, Shoe Live and the next Lord of Perfected work. Also, if you got ideas or want my opinion on something, send them to my Instagram or my Facebook, okay? Inst my Instagram and my Facebook is Shoe Loves Rebels LLC, okay? And I have a personal Facebook under Lord Shoe X. It's spelled funny, so if you find it, you was just meant to find it. But I'm interested to know what y'all opinions is. I haven't created a Discord channel yet so that y'all can get more uh, in tune with each other, the people who do watch this this uh, stream from the outside and the inside of Twitch. So rest assured, I am putting that together. But first, I just want y'all to check out the website. I just revamped it. I added my press kit to there so if you are a uh like a guy who owns a venue or you want to put together a showcase and you need marketing materials from me go to my website and you can go to my press kit and all that information will be on there so much love to everybody who watched the stream today i'm out this bitch i'm gonna show the commercial one time though before i go <laughs> i'm out this bitch Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Bye, see you later.